Now let's uh, get into some image editing. Um, and so we have the spot healing brush. And the spot healing brush uh, will allow us to um, get rid of um, blemishes on faces. Um, if we don't like this spot on the asphalt, we can get rid of that. Uh, and then the healing brush again, do the same thing. Next thing is the patch tool. And so if, uh, if we want to um, select an area, and kind of give this area a new pattern like this. It will do it automatically. So it's kind of patched in something. Um, I'm going to undo that. And maybe I want to get rid of this um, manhole cover. So I can like come over and select you know, I can come over all the way over here. I can select anything uh, to fill in that spot. I'm going to go Command D, deselect, and you can see that that patch tool has removed that manhole cover. The Content Aware tool. Um, If I say wanted to um, move this B to over here, you can see that it takes it away from here and puts it over here. Uh, red eye tool that, that just fixes red eye issues. Um, the brush tool, uh, we can create a, um, different types of brushes. So here's a, here's a really big brush. Um, and you can see that with the brush tool up here, we have different brushes um, and different sizes of brushes. So I've got like a 500 pixel size brush. Um, and I can, so you can see the size of this compared to the previous one. Um, and so if I, kind of work this with this particular color. Um, I could always double click on this and change the color to what I wanted. Come down here. And now this is more of a uh, creation of artwork than editing. Pencil tool. color replacement tool so you can see that it's actually just changing the color of the leaves as opposed to putting the color over the leaves uh, mixing brush so it's just kind of like spreads it around almost like you're pushing paint around a little bit The clone tool um, allows you to um, pick up patterns in one area and put them down in another area. I'm going to hit the bracket key to make this brush a little bit bigger uh, just so I can show you what I'm talking about. So that's the close bracket key that makes it bigger and the open bracket key that makes it small, makes the brush smaller. Um, and so the clone stamp tool we can pick up a pattern so I'm holding the option key down and this crosshair comes up and I can pick up the pattern of these leaves and put them 
down over here. So there is a pattern on this clone brush of diagonal lines. I've never really used the pattern clone brush that much. 